you know, one thing the three of us have in common is we're all mothers. And I think one thing you learn from being about community creation and, and dealing with people in a community from motherhood is that everybody is different. You know, each child that I have, I have to interact and engage with that child differently. There, there's six different individuals, even though they all came from my husband and me. And, uh, you kind of have to nurture people at where they are and realize that, you know, it's almost a customizing of a group environment, which it, to me is fun. It's, it's the challenge of doing it. But have, have you run into some things with that? I know, Laura, you're masterful at helping, you know, when people get overwhelmed or whatever, you're really good at, like, uh, calming them down and, you know, helping them work mm-hmm. through the process and kind of meeting them where they are and that it's okay that that's where yeah. they are. Yeah. Well, part of it is, you know, seeing people and and just accepting where they are, you know, that they haven't one person has a style, another person has that style. Um, But it's also giving them permission that they don't have to be like somebody else. I think we're just we're always looking so so often. We're always looking outward for how we're supposed to be, what we're supposed to be doing or for that validation. And so I'm always trying to. teach other people what I'm trying to learn myself, you know, which is looking inward at that own your own validation. And it's like looking at, you know, what is your energy need right now? And so uh, giving people permission to really um, do that for themselves and say, you know, this is what I need to do this week or, you know, I'm going to be on Facebook this much or no, I need to take a, a break because I'm feeling just too much energy and um, giving people permission, you know, to do that individually like you would as a mom, you know, Somehow, as a mom, we see that for our kids, and I feel like it's just kind of the same way we're having to teach, you know, individuals how to do that for themselves is to be able to say, and I think moms are so used to kind of sacrificing and, like, we've got to do everything, you know. Um, you know, we're never up to par, so to speak, and it's, like, really giving them permission to relax into who they are and what their natural, authentic, unique style is. Um I think that is huge. You know, that's a huge piece of what I try to provide in each of the experiences is, and getting practice at that. You know, I think that's so important is getting that practice so that you learn to trust that, learn to trust, you know, what's coming up for you, what you really need or don't need. Yeah, I've noticed that like in my create a wow book program is everybody's at a different point in the book, you know, creating their book or somebody wants to hurry up and get it done in four weeks. And the other person is like their goal is, you know, eight months out. And they're comparing, you know, the, where they are and they're, you know, a lot of it's in their, you know, the head game around, oh, I'm not moving as fast as somebody else. And then they get discouraged and then they want to quit, you know, so you, you've got to kind of uh, help everybody realize that, hey, you're everybody's working at their own pace. They're doing their own thing. And that's OK. I was going to say it's like independent study in a group, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah, and you know, I, I think too that um, that when you're in, in the beginning, like anything, because uh, this is just something you know, our conditioning from you know being in school and all that, all those kind of environments is you know where you get to see you know where do I where do I fit you know where do I belong, and and I think that one of the things that we're all learning is that things aren't fixed like that anymore, you know, um, especially in, in our kinds of businesses that, you know, there's, there's a, a pacing, a cycle, a rhythm that's all of its own, and what the best thing that we can do as facilitators, teachers, trainers, mentors, coaches is to, um, is to encourage and support people in the opportunity to honor you know, their own rhythm, their own flow, and to tune into it. And I think that, you know, that external comparison happens a lot in the beginning of your business, so it kind of lets you know where someone is in their business. Uh, Because if you've been doing this for a while, you already, you know, there are some things that you've had to lead the pack to become, because otherwise you wouldn't be differentiated in your work. So you've already, you know, you've already encountered the playground of being different and, and, you know, breaking away from established norms and, and established, you know, ways of doing things. So when I see that in a group, I just know that someone's in the beginning and so they need more opportunities to perhaps reframe what's happening. So it's like a coaching moment. 
Um, and and it's a, it's a moment, you know, to acknowledge, you know, what they are accomplishing and to let them know that it is an adventure, you know, whether they're writing a book or they're building their business, you know, this is all an adventure. There's, you know, there, there are some uh, well-worn grooves, some paths that people have traveled before that work really well, but that, you know, lots of times as we set off on our own path, we may be just, you know, going off in a different little fork <laughs> and then coming back together. Um, so it, it's a wonderful way to, to see, you know, where people are in their business and how we can support them in their creative process. And also, um, you know, to acknowledge, you know, how far you've come in your own, to see your comfort level with knowing, hey, I'm off the beaten path again, you know, and it's okay, you know. It's actually good news because I know this usually leads me to a really juicy place. Yeah. I'm not happy unless I'm off the beaten path. <laughs> it has to be different or something. It has to have the, the wow punch to it, something that nobody else is doing or, no, or at least I've never done before or something. I'm not really happy unless I've got that. 